Lisboa, boa tarde. Hello, Lisbon. What connects us here today? Venture Stage, Web Summit 2023, Lisbon. These were the things that I was first thinking about when they invited me to host this stage today. What are our common topics? What are the common interests of this crowd? What is the tribal mindset? What binds us here? It's so cool here at Web Summit how they have all these different stages for the different crowds, right? We're here at Venture. There is um, content makers. There is crypto. There is Planet Tech. Very different crowds. Very different mindset. Even here at Venture. Venture can mean so many things today, right? We have our traditional venture capital, but we also have our joint ventures. And now the newest trend in corporate innovation, open innovation, the highest growing volume of capital available, corporate venture capital, venture builders, and so on. And I wanted to find something maybe musical or magical to talk about all of these VCs and CVVs and CVCs and all of that. But um, unicorns, unicorns are so passé, right? So 2021, would camels be more sexy? The Arabian tribes have known that for centuries now. A good bride is worth a hundred camels. An award-winning camel can be worth millions of dinners. But does the venture capital world now agrees that a camel startup that can survive long desert crossings without any oasis of burn rate be more attractive. We're going to be hearing about the landscapes of ventures around the world this afternoon. And what about zebras? With black and white and stripes so in fashion this season. Could zebra startups be the new hot, hot trend for this season? Right after me, the first thing on this stage today, we're going to be hearing all about the hottest trends for 2024 from Dylan Kong. But all this animal kingdom is very interesting, so worth the debate, right? But I was still looking for something like a secret code, something that only we here would know about. Ah. What could that be? And then it hit me. Triple, triple, double, double. Triple, triple, double, double. Everybody knows that, right? We repeat that as a mantra. But if I go and ask the Nobel Prize winner of economics, would they know what this model is about? No. We can even go to NASA. Or even better, we can ask the Elon Musk's SpaceX propulsion engineer about it, and they wouldn't know either. But let's test something here now. Who here knows what triple, triple, double, double stands for? Raise your hand. Good, good. I'm, I'm a bit relieved. And you guys, it's not about me. But when I asked that, and you knew it, you felt good. You had this little dopamine rush going through, but even more. Once you raised your hand, and you looked around, and you saw other people raising their hands, now not only you felt good, you belonged. And isn't that what we want? When we think about our employees, our entrepreneurs, our stakeholders. 
We don't want just to share information. We want them engaged and motivated, that they feel like they belong. In a recent survey, um, executives were asked if they knew what to do about their innovation strategy. And most of them, they said, yes, we now know what our innovation strategy is. Well, sort of. Let's put in brackets, let's park it aside, you know, the potential impact of CVC versus CVB. But 51% of these executives said that their biggest challenge in innovation strategies was to move the needle on culture. And how do we solve that? Thank you. <laughs> how do we solve that? Or even a better question, who is solving that problem? Well, the good news is we are. Through game experiences, we can put like 10 to 20 people in a room, give them a cool platform, some content, some terminology, some rules, and most of all, some immediate reward. And it's like native to humans. We are competitive, and we like to play. Yeah, we like to play. Now, if, imagine with me, we put a dozen of executives here in a room, and we say, we're going to play a game for this whole afternoon. And immediately they're going to start, oh, I don't have the time for this. What about my three o'clock meeting? Can we do this in like 30 minutes? Right? Now, if you're clever and you get them to stop playing, and of course, the game is good and engaging, now they want to continue playing. Why? Because... They want to win it. They want to beat the other teams. And once you figure out how you get points to win, you start internalizing and applying those strategies and behaviors. It's like osmosis. You're learning by doing, and you're getting this mindset, these behaviors, you're creating a comfort zone around this topic. We do that for innovation, entrepreneurship, ESG mindset, and believe me, I've done this a million times with entrepreneurs in incubation programs, in university programs like Samsung Ocean, or with executives in big corps like Accenture and Bayer, Bosch, Pfizer, JP Morgan, you name it. Always the same. It's a simple mechanism, right? Once you figure out the points to win, you start doing the things that will make you win. And by that, you're internalizing this by playing and having fun. And with an NPS of 91, isn't that an amazing NPS, by the way? Who here has a program or a solution that has a net promoter score this high? Because basically what you're doing is you're transforming almost every participant or active user of your solution into a promoter or ambassador. Isn't that just amazing? Isn't that what we want in our programs, that people are engaged and motivated? However, there's another way to do that, right? The subject of every single stage here at Web Summit this year. Everybody's talking about, what if all the humans are replaced by AI? There's not a single stage that's not going to touch on that. And here on stage today, of course, we're going to talk about that. And we're also going to hear about the next decade of tech. 
And I'm really looking forward to that one because if we are replacing every human by AI, I should also pivot, right? We should start doing game experiences to train AI to think, for example, sustainably, right? Hello, hi. Yes. This is what is going to happen. And um, while we're here today, we're going to bring some exceptional human intelligence to discuss all these topics. Because while AI doesn't take over, we still need to continue the debate. And here is what is in our agenda here at this stage today. Charting the path forward how VCs are navigating uncertainty, back to the future, investing in deep tech, the next decade since we're in Portugal of Portuguese tech, which is leading the way in many ways, the next decade also of VCs around the world and the context there, what to know before raising your first funding round, and the last, what we all want to know, what does Gen Z really want. My name is Fabiele Nunes. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Startup Mundi Game Experiences. It is my absolute pleasure to be your host here this afternoon at Venture Stage. And also, absolute thrill to be doing the launch of our international ESG game experience here at Web Summit. And um, you also got a present. If you want, you can scan that code and you just got yourself a free invitation to one of our live demos. Now that you feel good, you're engaged, you got a present, right? Sit tight, we are just beginning. Thank you. And as we open our program for this afternoon, I told you about Dylan Cox, but what I haven't told you yet is that VCs are experiencing one of the most tumultuous years in recent times. Our first session presents an overview of the key trends that will define the landscape in 2024. Please give a very warm welcome to the head of private markets research at PitchBook. With you, Dylan Cox, ladies and gentlemen.